person you'll put yourself in the back burner for everybody else you understand i know that about you. i know the focus i know that you focus on all this you know i know that you're the type of person you'll put yourself in the back burner for everybody else you understand i know that about you but the lord needs to get you he wants you this right here i'm moving it over real fast i'm gonna get you guys there don't worry but no in the spirit i'm shutting this off i don't even want that i want to get right into who you are because what happens to you right now it's going to affect the course of everything around you. you understand? Hey, I'm about to uh, prophesy here. Look out here, what's this thing about? I want to see. I, 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 I. I'm speaking to you, okay? Have you forgiven? Have you let go of what you've done in the past? stuff. This is murderous stuff. This is murderous thoughts. Is that right? Has it tried to take your life? It wanted you to end it all? Yeah, you know, I, now look, I'm going for this thing. Listen. Also, there could be something in the lineage of the man side of the family. But I know the power of Jesus Christ. This thing doesn't have to hold on so hard. I'm talking about it can take just one touch and everything changes. And you've repented. Is Jesus the king of your life? Do you love him tremendously? You do? Listen, I see the call. The call is to set many people free of the occult. Even satanic ritual abuse victims. You're going to set a lot of them people free. Do you bear witness to that? How do, why do you bear witness to that? You were a shaman, okay. That he's been a shaman, he was raped, he was sexually abused, drugs, what else? Listen. So what's happening is you got a demon in there that's been hanging out with the Holy Ghost and it's just he's burning. He's burning pretty bad. That's why you're screaming. So, man of God. Man of God. Let me tell you something. Don't let this demon tear you that way. You see, you know he's got a big call. So guess what, demon? By the power and the authority of Jesus Christ, Jesus takes dominion over his soul, over his body, and over his spirit. Come on! So let me tell you this, the angry thing that was there, that just left. Hey, Shaman, come out of here. Come out of here. Come out of here. Come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. No! Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Hey, shut up. Come out of here. They gotta love Jesus, man. That's great. <laughs> respect about people like you can I tell you you're yielded and you don't care you've lost your dignity and you mean business and you don't care what people think that's why you're getting free bro that's why the power of Satan can't hold you it has to come right out lose dignity and you'll get so free so fast I see this has been traveling I think this goes all I think this goes way deep which if you see Baal we know that's the Sidonian God Jezebel's Thing. So that means that in your generations there was somewhere way back there bow worship. Right? And I'm seeing the women of your family too. 
I'm seeing a lot of this. We, we can look at the man's side, but I'm actually seeing there's a lot of child sacrifice that had flowed down from the women's side. Is there abortions on the women's I've, side? And through all of this, through all the yeah. deliverance, all we've been through, lots of masonry, lots of child sacrifice, sure. lots of abortions. Okay. Do you think it was on that side, though? You, hey. A lot on my father's side, but my mother's tormented the most. Yeah, she's tormented the most. I'm seeing there's a lot of child sacrifice on that side. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do something. I'm going to top this. I, I'm going to go into some intricate stuff here, okay? You ready? This is the. This is probably a pretty big principality here. I come in this that bow spirit and all the prophets that are in this body from the body. Yeah, there it is. There's the bull. There you are. Ah, you see it. It, it thinks it's tough. I, I, well, excuse me. I know you got a little kingdom in there. You and all your buddies. All of you. Any last one of you. You know, it says that Jesus is seated above all principalities, powers, rulers of darkness. And the thing is, even demons must tremble and obey. If you be a demon, and I know you are, and you take you and your friends, and you go back to the abyss. Never! Now I assume it hasn't been a perfect journey, right? It hasn't. It's okay though. So what I want to do for both of you now is I just, I want to remove anything that's been between you guys that was foreign to the Holy Spirit, okay? So that when you guys walk into this marriage covenant, there'll be no lingerers trying to come in, alright? Is that cool? So hold hands. Let's declare this. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, we're gonna serve you. Oh, we're gonna serve you in a big way. In a big way. <laughs> oh, I, let, I gotta prophesy again. I see you guys in a. It's like a van, and I see you going. <laughs> I see you going all across the states. Oh, all I see y'all traveling. Y'all are gonna live in a van for a while. You're gonna travel. You will. This is what's gonna happen, dude. I'm seeing six months. This is a product produced. I need you guys to put it out for people to sew into. You're going to sew into the van. You're going to get exact, and you're not going to get a cheap one that's going to break down. You're going to get something that's really good, okay? Give me my wallet. I want to do something. I want to be, I want to sew into this ministry, because you're going to help a lot of people. Here you go. That's the, now that's for the van now. I'll take it to the restaurant. Stay in the van, y'all, and y'all are going to travel and go to places. You're going to go to meetings in, in, like, desert areas and stuff. It's going to be really amazing. You're going to change so many lives, okay? So, Father, I thank you for this couple. Now, say this. Say, Jesus, Jesus. our marriage is yours. Our marriage is yours. Our ministry is yours. Our ministry is yours. We want to be obedient. We want to be obedient. We will serve you. We will serve you. And we surrender all. We surrender all. In Jesus' name. Um, so <laughs> we both have a wild background of lots of new age, lots of false religion, lots of drugs, oh, suicidal thoughts, all the things, man, Satan was coming for us, and um, our paths crossed, and never would have thought we would have ended up together where we are now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we both, from a very young age, have been raped and molested, sexual assault dealt with drugs, suicide, <laughs> what, what else, witchcraft, yeah. uh, anything you can think I, of that's I was, not yeah, good, I was been there. I was a stripper at one point, yeah. I was essentially prostituting myself out for money because I was so poor, yeah. just all of it, yeah. and yeah, I was homeless for a good while, living out in the woods without a house, yeah. for about six months, I was left on the ground. I don't know even how, but one night at church, I, I brought him with me, and <laughs> He didn't even really know. He was kind of skeptical. And I brought him with me. And God just showed up radically and allowed something to manifest. And something to manifest in him. I and manifested. And then we called her sister over FaceTime. They walk in deliverance. Yeah. She called the Leviathan up. And I, all that could come out of my mouth was Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. yeah, yeah. Immediately. And that's when I first felt the power of Jesus. Not more powerful than any witchcraft, any shopping, anything that I've ever done, all the psychedelics I did, like it just squashed it. Right and like I felt like I had cheated, like I had 
like I'm like, oh, I know God. Like, I, I, <laughs> felt, I feel it. I got the cheat code. Like I, there's no other way. There's no other way that that can do that. And then through that though, are. He's just been showing and revealing to us so many things that not only are we clean and not only are we purified and not only have we gotten deliverance of all of these things. It's just been a journey, but that we're also going to walk in ministry of inner healing and deliverance, and that He's just pouring into us. And it's just been such a blessing coming here tonight and just like the prophecy that's spoken over us is just a confirmation of things that God has already spoken to us and it's just so beautiful to, to get that confirmation and to be here. So many of the prophecies, I was freaking out when Daniel was <laughs> prophesying over yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. It's just little things that we talk about and be like, I feel like I'm like called to minister to the occult and things like that. And, and he prophesied that I, not only was I going to be doing that, but we'd be on the road with the van doing it to a very important, very famous. Which has not only been a dream just to be yes. traveling, but also it feels like it's been a calling for us. So it's, just, it's just been a beautiful journey. Like it doesn't end here. It's just beginning. We've been, <laughs> we've been hearing that we're going to have two kids. I got fixed but we know that that was gonna, wasn't gonna be a thing but daniel prophesied that like everything he prophesied we've been hearing yeah. clearly so it's just like oh it was all confirmation confirmation uh, it was all confirmation he said we'd have two kids and we'd keep seeing a girl with a boy yeah. that's so good that's <laughs> so good oh we're so excited